hi guys so welcome back to another video in today's video we are just doing a full face of some of my drugstore staples in my collection items that i always reach for um that i absolutely love and adore and yeah i tried to comp complete a full face using those products so if you want to see how i got this look the products i use and all of that make sure you keep on watching but first if you're not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as that bell notification button so you're notified when i post new videos and i'm out of here on to the video bye guys All right, guys, let's do some drugstore staples in my collection when I am in a rush. It's Thursday. I'm tired. That's the truth. <laughs> That's the truth. Just became a staple. I absolutely love it. And I've been wearing it probably for like a week now. It's the NYX Blur Primer. Love this stuff. Y'all gonna hear me keep talking about it and talking about it and talking about it. Whenever, if you're new to my channel, like if you see me use stuff consistently, like you always see Nana use this and always see me use that, that means I absolutely love it. This is one of my quick face routines. Cause I don't have time to experiment with makeup this morning, so I gotta go with what I know works. No experiment. And kind of just press it in in the pore area right here, in the T zone, and that's how we looking. Uh. I usually take some of my, if I can find it today, my Ulta Gloss and put that on my lips while I'm doing my makeup. It's the, it's just one of them days. <laughs> there it is. It's hardly nothing in here, but that's how it looks. I think it's like $10 at Ulta. This is the pineapple one or the yellow one. It's just one of them days when I want to be all alone. <laughs> and I don't want to go to work no more. <laughs> I'm crazy. Okay. Uh, what am I about to do? Okay. A concealer. In a rush, y'all know the drill. I'm going to use concealer because I don't have time to be pulling up with foundation trying to see if they work if they're not going to work what they're going to do in between and my favorite spot concealer is the l'oreal infallible i think i didn't include that in my favorite concealers but i came across it you know in my stash i'm like wow how did i leave that out this is the shade 420 cocoa and 415 honey 415 honey i believe is my foundation shade but we about to see. It's kind of on the neutral side, as you can see. I think I like to mix the two together. So I'm not looking ashy. We'll see. I'm going to blend this one out first, and then I'll see if I need to add the darker shade for 20. Just one of them days. Give us full coverage, medium coverage, light coverage, depending on what you want from this concealer. It can give you any and everything you want. Uh, it's like $14 now. You know, L'Oreal isn't the cheap, the very cheap, uh, drugstore brand inside the drugstore no l'oreal has always been on the pricier side of the drugstore spectrum i think that color did what it needed to do and it gave me the coverage i needed to have this morning i don't know if this is this a contour shade 
No, we don't think it was here. It's not a plantain shake. Why did I think it was? Coco. Coco is not the contour shade. It probably could be like a summer when I get like real bronzy. Probably could be that, but then it's not deep enough to be no contour. Well, it gave me a little something, but not enough. Not enough. Okay. Uh, my other one would be my e.l.f. Uh, matte 16 hour camo matte concealer in deep olive which by the way like my tray up here it should be here and it's probably not okay so I'll just take deep chestnut which is uh, it's a slight highlight not like amazing It'll give me highlight. All of it's like a little bit, just a little bit brighter than this. Spray on my NYX spray. Bear with me, spray. I've been make sure I say that because NYX has so much. But if you know my channel, then you know which one I love. You can hear the tiredness all in me. I am tired. I am ready for the weekend. It's Thursday though, so. We got to keep pushing through. Take whatever's on the sponge and put it on my eyelid as a primer. I'm going to do a one shadow look today. Y'all know the drill on that one. That considers looking good. Don't you know no good? Don't you know no good? Okay, take my Sasha Buttercup Boost Setting Spray. Set this stuff. Don't you know no good? Don't you know no good? Okay, favorite powder, Black Radiance Pressed Powder in Black Coffee to contour with. I've been going kind of light-handed with the cream contour. I would normally use my Thread Beauty in 210, but I found like I got too much contour going on when I do both powder and cream. So as of right now, I'm just doing cream sometimes. I mean, just doing powder. And I wasn't going to turn on the camera this morning. I was like, I'm tired. I don't feel like it. I just need to get ready and get out the door. Like, I got to talk to y'all every morning. I turn on the camera every morning. Like, <laughs> we friends and I'm calling y'all every single morning. <laughs> That's how much I feel like I got to turn on the camera. And just go circular motions. Or I go circular motions. And, you know, you know. If you know, you know. <laughs> Circle of motions and bronze of his face. All right. Oh, we did good. We got all that done in eight minutes. Let me get an eyeshadow. Okay, let's take this LA Girl Foreplay and Seduce eyeshadow quad. Gold shade on the lid. Kind of dark shade in the outer V. No crease. Color today. 
I had picked up a Huda Beauty palette. I was like, no, you just said, and this is not, a, this eyeshadow palette is not a staple, but mainly I was talking about like the face products or whatever. Yeah, but y'all see how pigmented that is? For, I think it's probably like a three or four dollar palette. Kind of like with a little fluffy brush and at the edges. That's dark. I haven't had anything dark like this in a minute in the drugstore. Okay, then take the gold shade, like I said, put that on the lid, and we have a two shadow eyelet. Okay. The LA Girl got some new eyeshadows too that I was interested in. I've seen them online at Ulta. I said next time I go in my Ulta store, I'll actually see if they physically have it. So I can check them out. So y'all see how this is a drugstore palette. You can get eye looks, eyeshadows from the drugstore that are amazing. LA Girl is a very affordable. Most of their products, the majority of their products work well for me. We have a few, some that are sold at Dollar General that they need to take off the shelf. <laughs> but other than that, most of them are good. And this is a flat foundation brush. Not, not in my hand. It's not fluffy at all. My friend sent me a uh, thing and yesterday. I guess they're trying to remake Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. How dare you touch that movie? That was like one of my favorite childhood movies. I used to watch that movie all the time. My mom used to get so mad that I used to watch that movie all the time. Swelly? Swelling and Rose. That is a classic movie. Don't y'all mess that movie up. I'm kind of liking this brush to give me a fake cut crease. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. What is it? What's my own name brand? Hmm. Yeah, I got it right there. So I remember I got it. And then blend out the edges between the glitter and the matte shade. They still look like they're running together. They in the same race. <laughs> they're not running running against each other. They running for the same team. That's what we need. Okay. Well, I'm gonna leave this palette on my desk. I got like three or so more of these type of palettes from them that I never pick up. But according to this look. I need to pick it up more. I'm just blending out the edges. So I'm making sure I look at the time too. Because I'm on a time track today. Some of my AOA volume mascara. It's a dollar from Shop Miss A. If you're not really into mascara, but you just need a mascara to coat your lashes and don't get them clumpy and, and hard, this is a really good one. I'm not a big spender when it comes to mascara. Okay. And it does the job for me, so I'm good with it. I'm going to put on some falsies. 
anyway, so it don't matter. I'm gonna take some of my A um, no color powder or C in me to lightly kind of set the rest. Make sure, just to make sure, just whatever. <laughs> just one of them days. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit on my face. I'm gonna put on some lashes, get dressed, and then I'll be back, and then we'll do lip. And basically, the face is done. So it's probably taking me less than 15 minutes to complete this face. If I didn't do eyeshadow, then I really would have completed it. I wonder what top I can put on. I need a tit up to put on. Ooh, 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 ooh. See, that's the problem. I get off track. I'll be back. <laughs> okay, I'm back. My shirt is not buttoned. I have to get my son to button the back. It's one of those whatever loop in the button thing. Let's go ahead and dust this powder off since the lashes are on. I already primed my lips with my ColourPop Lip Primer. Staple. That's a very much so a staple. I feel like I'm either farther to up. There you go. Now my hair not cut off. All right, that is done, finito. Okay, for lip liner, I found in my collection my L'Oreal Infallible Chocolate. I don't know what chocolate this is, though. Oh, is that it? No. I don't even know if they still sell this, and I can't even see the name, but I'm going to show you all the picture of it. Oh, here it's on the top. 856, yum. 856 yum. So that's the name and that's how the packaging looks. We're gonna line the lips with this. I used to love this. Look a card girl. This is it. Yep, this is my baby. L'Oreal. Oh, that's pretty. That's a pretty brown. I'm trying not to. Yeah, I needed something dark. Okay, today I'm going to mix my marshmallow and my NYX. Bear with me. Both of my NYX. Only because the concealer is already kind of matte. Now, this is going to make me matte. This is going to hydrate me. Put them together. I got to, you know, kind of balance. Plus, it just gives me a reason to spray two sprays, which I love. I'm going to let that kind of simmer down, and then I'll spray the other one. All right. Oh, that didn't take long. Okay. I'm going to do this Shine Out Loud NYX thing, lip liner and gloss. Why can I ever tell y'all the names of these things? I don't know. I think when they have the packaging, oh, Global Citizen. Okay, let's take the matte side and put that on. That yum yum kind of dark. I didn't think it was going to be that dark, but it goes with the outer part of my eyes, so. Yeah, and I kind of like covered up the lip liner a little bit with the liquid lipstick because I just wanted the outside, you know. Yeah, that kind of go with the eyes, okay. But I thought I was going to have something a little brighter in the center. We'll see. Go ahead with my NYX Bear With Me Spray.
And now we got a balance. Hold that thought. Let's try some of this Mako Revolution Baby Gloss in Cream. I think this was only exclusive to like Walmart some time ago. <laughs> no, no. Leave your lips alone. Because you're going to mess things up. No. Mm. I got 10 minutes. No, oh, the lip is okay, huh? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Mm. <laughs> I need some cloth. Mm. I want cool. Yeah, no. So, lip one. On to lip two. Let's take this Maybelline Vinyl and Fearless Liquid Lipstick. Take two. Let that calm down. This Car Beauty liquid lipstick and wifey. Better. <laughs> it's a little better. It's a little better. The other one was a little, I think, too cool for me for the shirt and eye look I got going on. But you can let me know what was your favorite lip, one or two. Yep, we're good to go. And I did not clean up underneath my eyebrows today. Um, 10 minutes. So I usually take, I usually take a uh, suede. But I think today we'll do toffee, maybe. Because I just need a little bit of clean up. Yeah. Toffee is on the neutral side. I don't think it has no golden in it. And I'm not going all the way just on the tail I got. You know, some hairs that I need to clean up. And just in case I went crazy with my liner and got it everywhere. And now get your little brush so you can blend this out. Don't let this sit like this. Why didn't I close this eyeshadow thing? It's gonna be just my luck. I drop it and I break it. If you break it, you buy it. Yeah. 
can look up, we can bring this out. Yep, we cleaned up. All right, guys, let me zoom you out just a little tiny tad bit. And I look crooked. I look wopsided because my shirt not wet. But <laughs> I'm dressed. That's all that matters. I'm dressed and I'm ready to go. So that was some of my drugstore staples that are currently in my collection that I use religiously. You know, I try to give it everything a little break here and there and try something different. But for the most part, I always reach back and pick up these products, especially the L'Oreal Concealer. If you were needing like a good full coverage, uh, you know, drugstore concealer, this L'Oreal Infallible is perfect for it. I have a, a highlight shade. I couldn't find it though, and I can't think of what the number is for the highlight shade. But and my face will look like this all day with just that concealer and powder. So yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to the door. I'm going to the door. No, I'm going out the door and go to work. Because what? It's just one of them days. I'm out of here, y'all. See y'all later. Bye. When I want to be all alone.